I volunteered to be a volunteer Spanish translator for someone who I believe needed some help. And the day came where I was supposed to help the person and I did some things in Spanish. And when it came down to the end of me doing things, someone else was called in and that person took over and, and did a lot better job than me. So I was in the room and I was thinking, just a minute, I mean, why am I here? Why am I trying to do Spanish translation? I, there's someone that's a lot better than me. And I want to talk more about that experience, talk more about my feelings. Uh, my name is Franklin and this is FirstThousandHours.com. So this is part one of a series where I want to talk about struggles in doing translation. And I think that um, you might find this a little interesting. Maybe you can already relate to the story. Uh, but first of all, I want to say that I was not trying to impose myself and just talk in Spanish just because I know some things in Spanish. There was someone that I thought needed some help. This person prefers to speak in Spanish. And so the person is really happy that I know a little bit of Spanish or, or I can help with Spanish. And, and so I had asked if um, that person wanted me to go along with um, the person. And then I, and the person said yes. And then I also um, asked the place that we would be going to if they needed help with uh, Spanish. And I told them, I think I told them I'm not an expert in Spanish or anything like that, but they didn't have uh, somebody at that time that knew Spanish. So they said, yeah, you, you can come. And so I decided to, to um, go and to translate. And so I, I want to say that I did a perfect job or anything like that, but I felt pretty comfortable uh, for a lot of what we were doing. Um, I did have some struggles. I did have some challenges and all of that. And obviously so someone was called um, to come and basically complete the job that um, knew Spanish. Now, I didn't know that that person was there. If I had known the person was there, I wouldn't have even been there, first of all. And secondly, um, the person is not always at that place. So even though I called the place and and um, asked if they needed help that they didn't know at that time that there would be this person that would be coming that basically I pro probably was a native Spanish speaker. And so, you know, immediately I was thinking in my mind, why am I here? You know, how can I really contribute or do anything? Because there's someone that's, that's better than me that needed to be there. I'm not saying that that person didn't. If I was in the situation of determining if someone, who should be there i would have definitely said that person should have been there um, i have nothing against that person i was more so thinking about myself thinking about you know you know kind of like why am i learning spanish when there's so many other people that do a better job than me and and especially <laughs> why was i there doing the the translation when there's there's someone obviously that has a better grasp on spanish um in the first place and um i want to um, I guess open this up for conversation. You know, what, what would go through your mind if you were um, trying to help someone else with Spanish and then someone, there's another person that comes that does like, you know, five, 10 times better than you. Uh, you know, what would be going through your mind? I would like to know in the comment section um, of this video, what, what you would say, say to that. And then also, what would you say to um, someone like myself that just went through that experience?